Hey guys, so for all of history, humanity has strived to conquer the sky and fly like birds. By freeing ourselves from roads and cars, we will obtain fully individualized freedom of movement. And finally, what was just a thought experiment by sci-fi writers, well, it's become reality. The first series of individual Jetson 1 quadcopters costing $92,000 per vehicle has sold out. The path to their creation was long and hard, with many inventions throughout the course of history of aircraft construction, and people worked ceaselessly to make their dreams come true. So we're going to talk about the most unusual and surprising personal aircraft that were made before, and the Swedish company Jetson Aero's baby, the Flying Jetson 1 Electro Bike, of course. The HZ-1 Aerocycle is a personal helicopter developed in the mid-1950s. The client was the American military, who wanted to provide their soldiers with a convenient travel method. The Aerocycle looks like a platform with two rotors rotating in different directions attached to the bottom. It used a four-cylinder, 43-horsepower engine to move, and its max speed was 68 miles per hour. Its longest flight was 43 minutes, but there were times when they landed just a few seconds after taking off. The project was a failure. Of personal helicopters made, only one remained undamaged and is displayed in an American museum. Now, another possible individual transport mode was being developed in the 50s, the jetpack. The first jetpacks were unbelievably gluttonous. In a 30-second flight, they would consume 5 gallons of hydrogen peroxide. The pilot could effectively jump in the air or fly a few hundred yards. However, this is where the positives end. Maintaining a single jetpack required an entire brigade of specialists, and its speeds were comparatively low. The military, who saw the benefits of flying special forces, of course were disappointed. If only they had seen how Marines move between ships using modern jetpacks, they would realize that the invention wasn't for nothing. In 2013, two Canadian engineers created the Aero Velo Atlas, a human-powered flying device that won the Sikorsky Award. The Aero Velo was 190 feet wide, but weighed only 114 pounds. It flew 8 feet above ground and could stay airborne for over a minute. Its peak moment was when an Atlas pilot could create the 1.5 horsepower necessary to achieve that altitude. A professional cyclist spun the pedals on the device. The DeLorean Aerospace DR7 VTOL Now, this vehicle isn't quite a car anymore, although the creators were inspired by the car from Back to the Future. The DeLorean Aerospace DR7 VTOL is a vehicle that looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. It has two rotating turbines for movement and has two seats inside the vehicle. Now, the company plans on making it entirely electric. Now, two small-scale prototypes have already been made, including a one-third scale engineering model. In the end, the engineers are trying to build a piloted airship 20 feet long with a wingspan of 18 feet and with a single frame made of composite material. It will be able to fly about 118 miles on one charge. The maximum flight range of similar vehicles is currently the biggest problem, but if the engineers are able to reach the numbers they promise, then this vehicle will automatically take first place among its competition. Hoverbike Another flying vehicle in our list that is fit for motorcycle lovers. Touristic transport was created in Japan. It's been in development since 2017 and cost $680,000. Bike has a single, standard engine and four electric engines. Together, they can provide speed 60 miles per hour. That's only enough charge for 40 minutes, but the company is working on that. However, 40 minutes at this stage is an achievement. For some reason, people build transport to travel on land or in air, but not many people think about a mixed option. The bike flies just three feet above the ground. It has an onboard computer that monitors the angles, turns, and tilting, controls the movement trajectory and stability of the hover bike in the air. Of course, the developers want to introduce their creation to real life, but we can't guess at how fast we will see these bikes on your everyday roads. 
Now, the fact that the hover bike can wonderfully manage hard to reach places, roads, might make you think that it will be used for rescue operations. The Japanese corporation Gene recently showed the world's small single seat Gen H4 helicopter. This aircraft just has a seat and chassis. Unlike normal helicopters, the Gen H4 has two main rotors on the same axis that rotate in opposite directions, making a tail rotor for balance unnecessary. Additionally, it's easy to park because it's only 13 feet long. The helicopter has four light two-cylinder engines that run on gas. The machine is capable of reaching heights up to 0.6 miles and can fly up to 56 miles per hour. But it's worth remembering that it can't fly for over 30 minutes in that mode. Now, you don't need any special license to fly on the Gen H4 in Japan. According to the developers, the helicopter is as easy to drive as a bicycle. You just hours to learn to drive the Gen H4. The comparison to a bike isn't a mistake, since a lot of the driving methods are very similar to riding a bike. Uber Elevate. When this video comes out, looking at will already have a new name. That's because Uber sold its subdivision that was working on the air taxi development to Joby Aviation, but uh, no new names have been released yet. The only thing we know from the previous presentations about the flying taxi is that it will fly over the scrapers and you can call the taxi to a landing platform using a mobile app. The cost of a trip on the Elevate should correspond to the price of a normal comfort class taxi. Now, they wanted to launch the flying taxi back in 2020 in LA, but the world situation delayed the process. Currently, the developer has made and tested only one model. The electric aircraft with vertical takeoff and landing can carry four It can fly up to 335 miles with a max speed of 199 miles per hour. Jetson 1. Finally, humanity has created a full-fledged individual flying machine, and pre-orders for it are full up to the end of 2023. Of course, a flying car is a bold statement. The creation from Swedish company Jetson is more like a drone that you control with a remote while sitting inside it. So the developer's main goal was not to create another flying tank. They want to give their clients the ability to have fun to their heart's content and say you can learn to pilot the drone in just five minutes. Now, according to the description, the aircraft is as easy to master as a jet ski or scooter. Jets and wind for entertainment flights in open spaces. Unfortunately, you can't fly it to go shopping yet, but you don't need a pilot's license. Just don't fly at night in densely populated areas near airports, okay? It has just one seat attached to an aluminum frame and carbon cables, and it can fly thanks to four blades similar to drones blades. It has a system that illuminates the landscape or obstacles and scans their space. Now, the drone has other safety features too, like three reserve onboard computers, and the ability to fly without a blade, as well as an emergency ballistic parachute that is automatically deployed in an uncontrolled fall. The pilot flies the Jetson 1 using a lever, a joystick, and a pair of pedals taken from the control system in helicopters. The drone weighs 88 pounds, but it weighs 187 pounds, including the batteries. Now, if the pilot doesn't weigh over 198 pounds, the batteries will last for a 20-minute flight at heights up to 33 feet. The manufacturer says the drone can reach speeds up 63 miles per hour. That's a programmed limit. It could reach much higher speeds. So the drone costs $92,000, and the first 24 planned to be made in 2022 and 2023 already have buyers lined up after a demo presentation after all the tests were completed. Well, that's all for today. Leave a like, comment, let me know if you think, would you actually ride in a flying car? I'm not there yet. It's going to take a long time for me to get there. And we'll see you again next time.